There are tons of FTP programs, both free and premium, or otherwise known as paid programs. In the category of free FTP client programs, there's one that stands out and above the crowd. It's called FileZilla. This video is going to cover the downloading and basic installation of FileZilla. Now, technically, FileZilla is a donationware type of software, meaning you can use it for free all you want, but the creators would very much like for you to donate some money to them if you like using the program. Now, not only is this great karma for you, but it also helps provide money for future updates and support. So, without further ado, let's head on over to the FileZilla website to get our software. And we're looking for FileZilla-Project.org. And you're going to end up at a page like this, and you've got a couple of options here, well, a couple of major options. That's the client or the server. Now, when talking about file transfer protocol, or FTP, there are two ends of the transfer process. The server end, where the files are on the internet, and the client end, where the files are on our computer. So most all of us will only need the client portion of the FileZilla software. So we first off want to just check out the clients. We want to click on that. Oh, and by the way, you may want to bookmark this page here. That way you can refer back to this to cover anything that I may not cover or skim over in this video. Let's go ahead and head over to the client. As you saw there, it covers all platforms. Now we want to decide on which platform we have. And of course, that's something that you'll have to answer for yourself. My operating system is Windows. And if something says recommended, that's the one you probably want to go with. More times than not anyway. Now, if you're using a Macintosh operating system, then you've got these options to choose from here. But I'm, or Linux, don't want to leave you guys out of the picture. But I'm going to go with this guy here because that's one that's recommended. Go ahead and click on that and get their advertising stuff out of the way. Now I've got it set up on my system to download all of my downloads to my downloads directory on my computer. You may have yours set up some other way, but that's just how mine is set up. The executable file here has a parentheses and the one there because I've already got this particular file in my system right here along with a lot of other older ones yeah i've been using this for a while so let's go ahead and skip this because i've already got it downloaded right here but you get the idea on downloading it anyway i'm going to go ahead and cancel that out let's head on over to my downloads folder okay so here's my downloads come on down here to this guy here and i'm going to right click and i'm going to run as administrator this guy pops up and you may get a different type of message depending upon you know your operating system I'm using Windows 7 got yes and then I get this guy to pop up click on agree of course you want to read all this fancy stuff first but click on agree and anyone who uses this computer that's totally up to you however you want to do this click on next and I just go with the default settings that's always fine for me now let's go ahead and throw a desktop icon on there as you can see as we hover over these it gives you a little description over here so if you're not sure about it just untick it but this all looks good to me and click on next and unless you know what you're doing I would leave it as is as far as the default location of the destination folder on next and click on next and it's installing away and let's go ahead and start that guy and here we are that's how simple it is to download and install your FileZilla FTP software now in closing I want to say that when there is an update to FileZilla this is one of the cool things I like about this besides the fact you, you can't beat the price is that when you open up your client software and there is a new version of FileZilla you're going to be given the option to update instantly or you can manually update later totally up to you I just do the instant because it takes less than a minute and I'm back to work with an updated program. Simple assignment. That is the end of this video on downloading and installing the FileZilla FTP software. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.